Welcome to another Goliath guitar tutorial. My name is Gareth Evans and today we are learning the song Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas. <clears throat> this is a fingerstyle version of the song that I wrote myself, this interpretation. It's part of my Christmas, 12 Days of Christmas um, series. Uh, this was in my Christmas medley, which was day seven of my Christmas se um, series by the way. And um, if you want to go and listen to this whole, um, or this version, which is part of the medley, um, you can click on the link that's appeared on your screen now if you've got your annotations enabled. Otherwise, down in the description of this video, you'll find a link to go to the medley. Like I said, this is part of my 12 days of Christmas. This lesson is day number 12. This is the very last video in this series, 12 days. 12 videos, two medleys, 10 guitar lessons um, ends today. So this is the very last one. If you want to go and check out the playlist, which involves all of those, which includes all of those uh, videos, you can click the link that's on your screen now if you've got your annotations on again, or otherwise down in the description, you'll find links for each individual video there. And if you want to get hold of the tabs um, for this medley, or have yourself a little Christmas, which is part of this medley, click the link that's on your screen now, or again in the top of the description, it'll take you to goliathguitartutorials.com, which is my website and is 100% free. All the lessons, all the tabs, all free. So the last thing before we get started, I wanna mention the strings that I use. I use Elixir guitar strings. These are a set of HD lights, which are my preferred strings. The reason I use Elixir strings is because they last a hell of a lot longer than any of the strings that I've ever used. The tone in them is fantastic. They hold, they hold the tone for ages. And also they, re they feel really good to play, really smooth, it, very minimal finger squeak when you're playing them, which is why it brings me great pleasure to bring you these guitar lessons in association with Elixir strings. Okay, so let's jump right into it then. Um, we're looking at bars 130 and onwards in the tabs. Um, if you've got the tabs out in front of you. Um, obviously, we're at bar 130 now because the other four songs in the medley were before that. So, um, part of the tabs that says 130 at the top and have yourself a merry little Christmas. Okay, so this is how the first four bars go. Okay, so starting at bar one thirty, you're in a C position. That's how it starts. So the C position, by the way, second fret on the first, first fret on the second string. Messed up the very first one. Second fret on the fourth string, third fret on the fifth string. That's the C shape. And the finger picking, five and two together or just after one another, well that's what the squiggly line means, it's like arpeggioed. Just after one another, five first and then two, a fraction of a second after. Okay. Followed by... Four, three, four, one. Okay, and all together. Okay, next we move to this position, third fret on the first string, second fret, um, still here on the fourth string, but the open fifth string now. And we play. Okay. Get that sequence there. One and five to begin, arpeggioed again, so five and one straight after. Followed by four, three. Up to here, eighth fret on the first string, fifth fret on the second string, and then open third. So it's one, two, three. So it's. That's the whole of bar one, three, one. So one, three, zero, and one, three, one, play like this. Sorry.
Okay? Now, one, three, two. One, three, three. Both play like that together. Here. We're in like a F shape. Um, you could play like that if you wanted to. Um, I use my thing thumb over the top for the first fret on the first sixth string here, sorry. And then I've got ring finger on the third fret of the fourth, middle finger on the second fret of the third. Um, you don't need the second string in there for now, so just leave that out. And then it's the first string on the third fret. Okay, that's the finger roll to begin. Six, four, three, and one. Okay. Okay, so that finger roll. Down to the first fret on the first string. So it's third string, open first, third fret then on the second string. So that's the sequence at the end of one, three, two. And all together, one, three, two. Okay. Okay, that's one, three, two, one, three, three. That sequence there. First fret on the second, third fret on the sixth. You play two, two and six together, followed by four, then three. And then up to the third fret on the two, play two, three, and then four, okay? So it's. That's the whole of bar one, three, three. So one, three, two, and one, three, three together. And if we go right the way back, one, three, zero to one, three, three plays. Next, we're going to move on now. One, three, four, three, one, two, three, one, three, seven. Uh, that's how that is played. So we begin one, three, four again in the C position. And the pick and sequence this time is that five, four, three, two, three, one. Five, four, three, two, three, one. That's the whole of bar one, three, four. Okay, one, three, five, next. Is a replica of one, three, one, okay? That's what we did last time. Okay, so one, three, four, one, three, five together. Sorry. This time, one, three, six, and one, three, seven. Plays like that. So back to this F position like I had before. You do need your first fret on the second string this time for that whole shape. And the sequence in one, three, six is um, one and six together, or arpeggioed like it says on the wavy line of tabs. Sequence after that pinch is four, three, two, three, four. Okay. Next is bar one, three, seven. Plays like that. Third fret on the sixth string to begin, nothing else. You play six, four, three. Okay. Six, four, three. And then two. You play open and hammer on to the first. And then come to the third fret to finish off. And all together bar one, three, seven. Okay, so one, three, six, one, three, seven together. It's all right. And if 
we back up now, 134 to 137. Okay, once you've got that, next is 138 through 141. It goes. That sequence there. So we begin in the C position again. Bar 138. That sequence there. Pinch on 1 and 5 to begin, or arpeggioed. Followed by four and three. Okay. We move now to this position. Third fret on the first string, second fret on the fifth. You play the same sequence again with the right hand. Five and one. Followed by four and then three. Four being open, um, by the way, this time. Okay. That's 138, 139 now. Okay, this position again, like we did earlier, eighth fret on the first, fifth fret on the second. You've got one and five together, followed by two, and then three. Okay, next, this weird position here, 12th fret on the first string, eighth fret on the second string, and the ninth fret on the third, you play one, two, and then three. Okay, so if we back up, beginning one, three, nine, like that. Okay, so if we back up now, one, three, eight, and one, three, nine together. Okay, bar 140. That sequence there. We start off with that sequence there, one bar 140. You're barring all the way across the 10th fret on the first three strings. Okay, you play finger roll four, three, two, and one. Okay, as a finger roll. Come to the 13th fret then on the second string. Okay, then you play the open four, do 12 and then 10 on the second string. Okay, to finish off now, we've got that for bar number 141. You got the fifth fret, sorry, the first five strings barred all the way across on the seventh fret. You got the eighth fret on the second string. You've got the ninth fret on the third string, sorry, fourth string. So that's the position to begin with. Sequence. You've got five and two, then four, three. And you finish up here on the 10th fret of the three with the little finger, okay? So that's bar one for one, one. so one for zero, one for one together. Plays like that, okay? And if we back up now, one, three, eight, the one for one, these last four bars play like this. Okay, moving on, we'll look at the next four bars, 142 to 145. Like that. 142 begins, this position here, fifth fret on the third string, seventh fret on the fourth. Okay. You play pinch one and five, which are open, and play two, three, four. Okay. 
after that. You move to this position, sixth fret now on the fourth string, still on the fifth fret of the third string. The sequence in this bar, five, four, three, two, three, four. Five, four, three, two, three, four. Okay, so with the previous bar. Next, bar one, four, four, we move down to the fifth fret on the fourth string. So we're now on the fifth fret of the fourth and third string, nothing else. And the sequence of the right hand is the same as the previous bar. It's five, four, three, two, three, four. Easy. Bar one, four, five now. Not that there. So the, down to the fourth fret now on the fourth string. Still on the fifth fret on the third string. It's just a simple finger roll on five, four, and then three. Like that. So the previous two bars. So one, four, two to one, four, five. These last four bars should play like this. Okay, so you got yourself your first seven, 18 bars of this. Have yourself a merry little Christmas arrangement figured out. Next up is one, four, six, three, one, four, nine. Repeat the first four bars exactly the same. 150 is the same again. So then, first, then next eight bars are a repeat of the first eight. Next, okay, it's so a repeat all the way to instead of going this time, we've got bar one, five, seven, which is different. We've got There. So instead of the E minor, which that is, or E minor 7, we've got the E major 7 now. So we're on the 9th fret of the 2nd um, and 4th string, and we're barring across the 7th all the way across the first 5 strings. Okay, so that's your E7, E major 7, okay? So the sequence here. Pinch on five and two to begin, or arpeggio defect, followed by four and three, and then you've got one, three, four. Okay, after that, or the with that with the previous bar even. One five six, one five seven plays this. If you go right back, play the four bars so you can hear this in context. One five four three one through to one five seven plays. You got that onwards now one five eight two one six one there it's almost the same as last time but the only difference is instead of going we've got this the first string is fretted on the eighth fret okay and instead of uh, actually it's it's picked a little bit differently too so the pinch begins at the start the pinch with one and five, it's followed by a four, and then three, followed by two, three, four. And then, last time you missed out the four, and then the three after the first pinch. This time it's. And then continuing the sequence, like we did last time. So that's up to one, six, one now. In the very end,
Okay, that's, that's, that's uh, what we're looking at next. Although we're looking at 162 and onwards, 161 kind of um, is the introduction to it, if you like. So we do begin. These are pinch harmonics, so you're touching, touching the fret, or the 12th fret string, touching the string directly above the 12th fret with the with the wires of the fret you touch the string directly there and you with the index finger and you pluck it with your ring finger i use my ring finger you could use a little finger if you wanted to too and then as soon as you pluck it you pull your finger away to let it chime out that's a, a harmonic but you're doing it like a pinch harmonic okay so you do two of them and then do the third with uh, the first fret on the six, uh, which is like an F shape, which introduces bar one, six, two. So this shape, first fret on the six, third fret on the fourth, second fret on the third, okay? You do need the first fret on the second two. So that's your shape. Obviously, I'm using my thumb over the top here for the first fret on the six. So it's three of those pinch harmonics like I said and then the third one comes with the sixth string just plucked with your thumb um, which is the first part of 162 followed by 434 four, just plucked up here with um, don't move your hand back down to the bottom just leave it up here so it's then you do another pinch harmonic or artificial harmonic this time if you put your finger directly above the 14th fret here with your right hand, you should be able to play that harmonic um, there, which is corresponds to being 12 frets above the position you're fretting, which is there on the second fret of the third, okay? Okay, after that, so that's 162. Next, 163. Plays like that. So it's a pinch on the sixth string with the thirteenth fret harmonic on the first on the second string. Sorry. So exactly above the thirteenth fret on the second string, you play that pinch with the sixth string. Followed by four, three, four, and then another open or twelfth fret um, pinch harmonic on the first string. So that is 163. 162 and 163 together then, if you include the two um, pinch harmonics at the end of 161, should play this. Okay, into 164 now. Okay, goes like that. So it's, it's pretty easy, it's a bit easy this time. After the third fret on the sixth string here with the right hand, like a G shape now, you play that with a pinch on the 12th fret harmonic of the first string. Okay, then you've got a rundown here of these harmonics. You've got the third fret fretted on the second string, you play the 15th fret, or you touch the 15th fret with this pinch. Down to the first fret with your left hand, 13th fret with your right, and then open second um, next. So it's. Okay. So that's the whole of bar 164. And then. That's the sequence for 165. Second fret on the third string. Open, second, and then up to the first fret on the second string. When I say second fret on the third string, it's the 14th fret up here on the, with the right hand as the pinch harmonic. Then open second, 13th fret on the right hand. All of 165 so far. Sorry, 164, 165 together should play this then. Now, 
if we back up 162 through 167, the whole of this harmonics part. So far, I should play this. Okay, if you are having troubles doing these pinch harmonics, it is a very um, advanced technique. Just play it without the harmonics, so just play. Just play it like that, play it straight, no pinch harmonics, just frack the positions and play them. It'll be easier for you to um, practice like that. And we're going to move on next, 166 to 169, and it's going to play like this. Okay? So we start off in an A minor position. First fret on the second string, second fret on the third and fourth string. This is 166. Okay, we've done uh, this right hand um, sequence before. Five, four, three, two, three, four. Okay, that's bar one, six, six. One, six, seven. Bit of a weird chord here. You've got fourth fret on the sixth string, second fret on the fourth, and then first fret on the third and second string. Okay. Play six, four, three, two, three, four. Okay, so if we back up one, six, six, and one, six, seven. Next, that's bar one, six, eight. You've got first fret on the second string, second fret on the fourth string, and third fret on the sixth string. The sequence again, same as last time. Six, four, three, two. And to finish off the next bar, 169, it's just a single note on the second fret of the sixth string, and then hold it, and then come back into, which is a repeat, so we won't count that as this bar, if that makes sense. So if we go back now to, um, just to recap what we've just learned, 166, 7, 8, and 6, 9. Then you repeat. Repeat up to there, and what you don't do is add that last note in there. Okay, we're looking at bars 170, 171, 172, and 173. Okay, in 173, you don't add that last note in there. You don't come to that first fret on the second string and 13th with your right. You let it hold. And then you come to the next sequence, 174 through 177, it goes. Like that. So, with the right, left hand, sorry, you've got the fourth fret on the sixth string to begin, sixth fret on the fifth and fourth. And sorry, also you've got the. Uh, What's this? The fifth fret on the third string. Okay, so what you do here is you play the 17th fret harmonic here, the right hand, on the third string. Okay, so there's 12 frets above the uh, fifth fret here. So you play with the right hand with a pinch on the sixth string. Okay, followed by five, four, five. Okay. You move everything with your right, left hand, sorry, up two frets to here for the next bar. This is one, five, seven. And that sequence there, which is six, five, four, three, four, five. Okay, pretty easy that one. One, seven, four, one, seven, five together. Lastly, 176, 177. That sequence there. So again, we've gone up two frets. 
excuse me, we've got the sequence six, five, four, three, and then followed by those three harmonics, pinch harmonics there. Six, five, four, three. Now, <laughs> this is the hardest one because this is the twin, it should be the 21st fret here with the right hand. Um, but I don't actually have that many frets, so it's directly above the 20th. I've only got 20 frets on this neck of this guitar, I don't know if you can see that there. But so, what I do is in, I can never imagine where the fret would be, so I take the 20th fret and just move up a bit in like spaced out the same as the previous fret. So I just that's what I do the pinch. Um, here, also with the right hand, by the way, we are barring all the way across for the first two strings on the eighth fret. I didn't mention that before. Um, so, we've got the whole bar chord in there now, so it's... We've got the last two pinch harmonics here, which are the 20th fret above the second string, and then first string. So, just to finish off then, 176, 177 to recap. Sorry, it's like that. Okay, hopefully that made sense. So let's go back 174, 177. It goes. It goes like that. And hopefully that made sense to you. So that's it for the lesson um, today. Thanks for watching. If you did enjoy it, click the thumbs up button because it really does help me out. Um, I, I did strive to bring this lesson, these lessons and tabs absolutely free. And the one way that you can help me out is by clicking like on all the videos. It does help me promote my videos and um, helps me just that little bit more um, to try and keep things, you know, coming kind of thing, that makes sense. So hopefully you've enjoyed the 12 days of Christmas um, this year. If you um, wanna go and check out all the other videos, there'll be links in the description of this video or annotation on your screen now and that little present thing that's popped up. And um, yeah, so that's it. Before I go, I just do wanna mention my gaming channel, which I'm putting a lot of effort into um, recently. Check out my gaming channel if you're into gaming videos. We're having a lot of fun making videos over there currently, so go and check them out. If you do like that kind of content, you know, be sure to subscribe over there too. So that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you again in the next video, the next lesson. Until then, bye for now.